Hi guys! During this video, I'm going to install VirtualBox from the 4.3 branch of VirtualBox from the repositories of VirtualBox itself. And I'm going to install it on Ubuntu's derived distribution Xubuntu version 14.04 LTS. And LTS stands for long term support. Now, to do that, I'm going to go to the virtualbox.org website, click on Downloads, select VirtualBox for Linux hosts, the latest version is 4.3.12, very nice. And I'm going to check, yes, Xubuntu version 14.04, that release has the nickname Trusty Tar. So, you can download the Debian files here, but I'm going to add them on the command line to the repositories. So I'm scrolling down a bit. I'm going to copy this line and open a terminal emulator window. And as you can see, basically here, add one of the following lines according to your distribution to your etc apt source dot list. Well, let's do that. And to do that, I'm going to in, well, log in as sudo huh, space dash i, enter my very secret password. And by doing this, I'm working as root. Now, nano is a text editor for the command line. And I'm going to edit the source.list file. Opened it, scrolling down a bit. The first thing, I'm going to add a little note. VirtualBox repositories. And then I'm just going to paste that line and save the file like that. Now the second step in this procedure is ensuring that the key for apt and the validation key is installed on this machine. Otherwise you get basically untrusted sources and etc etc. There are two options for this. Huh? key at but let's do it like this and to select that line I'm going to select it all ah, there we go copy that line go back to the terminal emulator and ensuring I'm in the root home directory with CD and then the little squiggly wavy line, I'm going to do another paste. And this will download the key and install it at the same time for this specific virtualbox.org repository of Debian files, uh, Deb packages. And I got an OK, so that's done. Now, the next step in this procedure is, and let's check it to be sure. Ah, up, get, update and install. Now, don't do that in my estimation. First install what is suggested next, and that would be install DKMS. So, we'll do the apt get update. apt get clean, apt get install kdms. And there we go. Little error. And let's check that again. dkms. Oh my. dkms. 
time it is. So, let's try that again. There it goes. And let's then do apt get clean and do a clear then apt cache search virtual box and then apt get install virtual box 4.3 and press enter. And yes, I'm going to accept this. And here you can see it is selecting the download.virtualbox.org repository. So that's all good. And here you see it installing, after of course a little bit of waiting for the downloading part, but uh, hey, it runs, and runs automatically, once you know what to install. And as you can see, it's installed. And let's do an opt get clean. Just to remove the unwanted uh, source material. Now, let's go back to the website of virtualbox.org. Scroll a bit up. And go back even. And if you want to install the VirtualBox extension pack, you have to download it. So, all supported platforms, very nice. I'm going to copy over this link and go back to the command line. And cd to the home directory of the root account. I was there already, but you know, just to be sure. And then type in wget and paste that link. So that's downloaded and now it's time to install that via the command line to VirtualBox which we just installed. And to do that you need to do vbox manage ext pack install then you need to select basically well as quickly as can with the tab that extension pack we just downloaded and then i'm going to add replace now the first instance you shouldn't use or need to use replace but it's good habit to put it in there because if you're upgrading and installing a new extension pack you should always use replace and i'm going to press enter and wait a bit successfully installed oracle vm virtual box extension pack now of course this is subject to licensing please be careful in that regard with commercial operations based on oracle's uh, virtual box so I'm going to exit the root quote unquote root account and exit the terminal and let's start virtual box via the run command and there it is as you see about virtual box 
it has been installed. So, I hope you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.